Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today I just wanted to talk to you about the technology that I use for study, um, which is just mainly my laptops and then a few other tools that I use on a daily basis. And I think a lot of people will get something from this because my setup is fairly optimized, but it's also a bit unconventional. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check them out. <clears throat> the first one on the left right here is actually <laughs> my mom's MacBook. Um, I'm going to give this back to her soon, but I needed it for a class last semester. For right now, I am using this for just development and my work at school. I'm a researcher and I have to like compile a lot of code on this and run tests. So it's nice having a powerful laptop um, that's running a Unix operating system. So yeah, this one has an i5 and 16 gigs of RAM. It's uh, fairly new, it has like the magic keyboard. And uh, it's pretty good, I like it a lot. It's definitely not something that I would like purchase with my own money because it's so expensive, but I could see why someone would get a lot of value out of this computer. Up next we have the ThinkPad X61. Now this one is a very old laptop, as you can tell, but it's still something that I use all the time. This one specifically I use for development, um, like focused development. It's nice being able to just go outside and have a laptop that's lightweight but doesn't have any distractions on it. I use it for writing and I use it for Japanese and programming and that's it. As you can see this one has a Japanese keyboard. It takes some getting used to but um, it's still a really great keyboard and I do like having it around because it's nice to be able to type Japanese with it. Yep, as you can see this one is running Linux. Um, specifically Arch Linux. It's also been upgraded to 8 gigs of RAM, which is a pretty expensive upgrade for a DDR2 machine, but I actually enjoy this laptop a lot and get a lot of value out of it. I got it for about 50 bucks and it's still in great condition. The battery life isn't the greatest, but it still gets the job done and does exactly what I need it to do, so. This other computer that I have, it's a ThinkPad X220. Um, this has been my main laptop for two years now, and I use it all the time, still every day. As you can see, it's currently Hackintoshed, so um, it's running OS X High Sierra. I mainly installed High Sierra because I'm going to be getting uh, giving this back to my mom soon, so I needed a Unix operating system again, like a, a Mac operating system again, and this is the one that I chose to put it on. Uh, I really do like this computer though. It's running an i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. And it's like I've got a bunch of upgrades. It has an upgraded IPS screen. Um, as I said, 16 gigs of RAM. It has repasted CPU. And it's also the upgraded i7 variant. So yeah, I also do run Ubuntu, but I keep it on this SSD, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to switch it in and out. So I've just been kind of running High Sierra on this, and it's still fairly usable. It gets the job done. So these are the three laptops I use. Um, this one will be going away pretty soon, but these two will be here to stay definitely. I still really do enjoy using this X61 and the X220. Some other technology I use is I use my iPhone a lot just for Forest. Um, as you can see, it's got 21 coins, baby. But I try to keep it as minimal as possible and try to keep it as distraction free as possible so it's really nice having a still fairly recent phone but it's still not too enticing to use um, and it still is capable enough to like do GPS and use like map my run and things like that. Another thing that I do use all the time is this little Pomodoro timer so uh, you can configure it to have different volume levels, you can reset it, you can change the time, the seconds, the hours, and uh, the modes. So this one changes the mode. Um, this is on one hour countdown mode right now, and then this one will be on the break mode, I believe. So I use this all the time just to keep track of, uh, it's nice having an offline Pomodoro timer, just in case I'm like out and about, I don't have internet, I'll bring this around with me. And uh, yep, about 10 bucks off Amazon. It's in Japanese, but it takes like 30 seconds to figure it out if you don't speak Japanese. Alright, next technology item is my Zune. This is the Zune HD 16 gigabyte model. The thing is, I only have one song on this. 
it's this new job based Aryan dance, the homework edit, which is an hour long, and I just have this one song on loop. So I like having this around because I'm not tempted to listen to other music while I study. And having this enables me to block out all the noise whenever I'm like in a library or something. But it also keeps me focused because I'm not listening to the music while I'm trying to study. So this has been a great investment for me. It obviously doesn't have to be like a Zune or anything. It's just what I like. I really appreciate the hardware on this thing. So yeah, a Zune gets a lot of use for me definitely. Um, and the battery life is still great. This thing lasts like four or five days. I'll just playing that one song on loop. As far as my calculator is concerned, I use a TI-83. Um, computer engineering, you don't really need much more than this. Been, it's been reliable, so yep, T-83. I also use the Apple AirPods all the time, or these are actually the EarPods, which are the wired versions. Uh, they sound actually really good <laughs> for how cheap they are, and uh, it's nice having like a pair of earphones that are comfortable enough that you can wear them all day. So yeah, th these ones have uh, been surprisingly doing me well. Before I was using like a fancy schmancy pair of Sony's, like the IR M7s, which are a multi like several hundred dollar pair of earphones, but honestly, this th hasn't felt like too much of a downgrade, which is pretty crazy considering how much you probably get like at least 10 pairs of these before you could even get a pair of the, uh, the Sony's, so been very happy with those. Also with the Zune, I have experimented with other MP3 players, so this is the one that I was using before this one, and I used this one for about uh, a year and a half. It's my iPod Classic 6th generation. It's a pretty great MP3 player still, um, but, but the thing is with these things, you have to replace the battery because they go bad. And it's a really annoying process to do it because getting inside of it is uh, painful to say the least. But as you can see, this one's pretty modified. It's running Rockbox, which is a custom OS with a custom skin called CleanOS, I think. But yeah, these are pretty great. I just really like how sleek the Zoom is and how low key it is. Isn't it so cool looking? And these ones you can get for, uh, I got mine for 45 bucks. And then the iPod, these are actually getting more collectible nowadays because people seem to be having nostalgia for them. So these ones, the, the this is like the best one you can get. It's the like the newest one in the highest capacity. So these ones will run you maybe like 150 bucks, which is pretty ridiculous. But yeah, they still sound great. The battery life isn't as good as the Zune, but it's still solid and uh, it's a little bit thicker, but it's also a lot more iconic and uh, recognizable. So that's important to you. Maybe go for that one. Uh, so yeah, that's all the technology that I use. I also like, I have a keyboard set up, but this is like all the basic technology that I use because I don't always use like the whole monitor and keyboard setup. But I think that for right now, I just uh, recently read the book Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. And I'm trying to tailor my technology towards that standard that he outlines in the book. and. Like things like these really help me do it because they're just devices that are mainly used for just a few functions, right? Like this one has so much potential that you can use like YouTube, you can watch videos. It's too stimulating that sometimes it's too distracting. Like I have my email open, I have Zoom, I have Discord, it's too much. Um, but the thing, also at the same time, it's not, it might be digital minimalistic to have like two laptops, but it's not minimalistic to have two laptops, if that makes sense. Um, so I've been trying to find that balance more, and that's why I'm going to get rid of this one soon and uh, keep the two ThinkPads around. And the idea will be, this one is going to be my most productive focus machine, and this one will be a bit more general purpose. It has like my email on it and stuff like that. I wish I could get this down to a single laptop, but I'm not sure how to right now. I've experimented with doing things like using two users with one being like a productive account and one being like your main account with all your, your entertainment and stuff on it. But it's just too much of a hassle to log out and log in between two of the accounts, at least from my experiment or experience. And this has been what's working for me so far. But it's still definitely in a experimental phase. So if you guys have any ideas for me, just let me know in the comments. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. See you later.